Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Brian H. Waters' Thoughts Live from the Wrestling Realm Studios here. This is it. The moment you've been waiting for. This is it. WrestleMania is just days away. And like everybody else, I'm going to give you my predictions as we look at the entire card, folks. Let's jump right into it. Y'all already know where to find me, at Brian H. Waters. Tweet me at Wrestling Realm. I want to know your thoughts. Here we go. So, for the WWE Cruiserweight Championship, we have Neville taking on Austin Aries. I'm going to just say this. This will be, it's going to be on the pre-show. I know a lot of people aren't happy. I asked you this question. What show do you put on? What match do you put on the pre-show and put this on the main card for? I don't see any of them. I'm going with Austin Aries to be um, victorious in this and become the Cruiserweight Champion. It's in Orlando, right? Where was TNA? Austin Aries made a huge name for himself. A-double. Greatest man to ever live. I love it. Austin Aries comes away with the victory. Um, another pre-show match. The 2017 Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. <sighs> I'm confused. You know, part of me saying, okay, we'll see a new winner. But then we'll see um, maybe Big Show because we know Show's entering it. I think we do see Shaq again. Um, and, and I've been talking to some of my peeps. Uh, some of my peeps that... You know, with, you know, talk to the realness. Wish it was a little touch of realness on this show. Um, and I've been talking to some of my peeps that I work with over at Fox Sports uh, 96.3, uh, Fox Sports 1340 AM out of Hopewell, Virginia. And, I, man, I, you know, I'm going to just put out a prediction. I got to put one on paper. I'm going to go with Finn Balor. Uh, I think Balor returns, and, you know, this is his way back, and he's been wrestling house shows he surprises everybody, and he will be victorious. Now, let's just say, I recorded this. If they come out later, I didn't know about it. Uh, if they make a statement that he came out there. Um, but if they had to throw a third show on the pre-show, I mean a third match on the pre-show, I'm assuming they might, I, I just feel like they would do the SmackDown Women's Championship. And... With the return of Naomi, I'm going to go ahead and go on record and says Naomi does it. The Naomi mob at, will be happy. That roller coaster and that ramp will feel the glow as Naomi will become the new WWE SmackDown Women's Champion in her home of Orlando, Florida. And, you know, we have to say this. Um, you know, we our thoughts and prayers go out. Uh, as we get closer to the one year anniversary of the tragedy of the Pulse nightclub and we know wrestling likes to touch reality Naomi was right there being there for the families being there to show them love and respect and I think this would be great for their families and for her and the fan base the Nail Mob for Naomi for who, somebody who had the belt taken from her to win it back in her hometown of Orlando, Florida but now, let's move on. So I'm going to give you the match predictions in my guesstimation the way I believe the card will go. So, with that being said, I'm going to say when they open and the fireworks starts and they say, Welcome to WrestleMania 33. Wow, 33 years, man. You know, uh, man, just 30 years ago, um, WrestleMania 3 was the first one I watched. And um, it was... It was I was little. I mean, I was only seven months, but I would watch it later, you know, and I was just, you know, knowing how uh, special it was for my family. As we always watch WrestleMania together, you know, I just, I'm so blessed to be able to be there. And, you know, something that my, it's a family tradition for us to watch WrestleMania, whether it's me or, you know, with my friends, but it was, it was always a group setting. You always watch WrestleMania in a group setting. Um, so, you know, just wanted to, say how thankful I was to be able to attend another one but I think when that happens I think that the match that will open the show will be Chris Jericho versus Kevin Owens as he gets ready to see KO Mania 2 which I think is pretty cool I don't care what y'all say I think it's pretty cool he's doing it too I want to see how long this is going to go let's see KO Mania 10 but 
Yeah, uh, I see Kevin Owens going over in this one. Kevin Owens will defeat Chris Jericho and become the new WWE United States Champion. Um, so this is, which would be funny because you know I remember when he was going against Cena for that title. But next, you know, uh, I'm thinking that we're going to go with the Intercontinental Title. Let's go right into it, right? Um, and that would be Dean Ambrose versus Baron Corbin. My prediction, I think they go with Baron Corbin. Um, Corbin, I think they'll ride some type of momentum that, you know, last year he made his uh, uh, call up in the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. He won that, and that's what they're bringing up. They're constantly reminding us last year he was the winner. This year he's in the title match, and I think that momentum continues. So I see we crown a new United, I mean, a new intercontinental champion. Then we go to the tag team match, which has now been announced a ladder match for the WWE Tag Team Raw Tag Team Championship. Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson going against Enzo Amore, going against um, Enzo Amore and Big Cass, I should say, going against Cesaro and Sheamus. This is it. This is the time. Big Cass and Enzo, they will become the new Raw Tag Team Champions. Now, and then I think next we go into the women's match. Uh, you know, be sort of early, but not too early. Um, and so I think we go right into the women's match. And it will be Bailey defending her Raw Women's Championship against Charlotte Flair, against Sasha Banks, against Nia Jax. I'm torn between this one because this is now an elimination match. And I, I thought that we saw Charlotte get out of the picture with Dana Brooke. But then it wasn't no longer a triple threat match. Now we have Nia Jax involved. Nia Jax was the one standing tall. So my wrestling, my superior wrestling intellect tells me Nia Jax does not go over on this night. What it does tell me, though, is that I believe that we see Sasha Banks win and then Bayley chase her. Um, normally, I would pick Bayley to retain the title. But... I just think, you know, I see Sasha winning. You know what? Scratch that. No. This is what's going to happen. Sha Sasha's going to pin Bailey. Bailey's going to pin Sasha. And then Sasha's going to congratulate her. Then she's going to knock her out. And there we go. There you have it. Your WrestleMania double turn. I mean, you think about WrestleMania double turns. Triple H turned on DX. Um, <coughs> Eve, Eve Torres turns on. Uh, Eve Torres turns on Zack Ryder. Uh, let's go back in history where Rick Martel turned on Tino Santana. So, um, you know, it's just a lot of WrestleMania double turns, and I think we have one right there. Oh, who can't forget Trish Stratus turned on Chris Jericho. Next, I think we see Shane McMahon versus AJ Styles. And I think this match is going to be better than what you guys are thinking, ladies and gentlemen. I, I, I do. I really do. I think that AJ Styles is going to win, but I think it'll be better. Uh, I think we will see Shane McMahon do some wrestling moves that we haven't seen. And at the end of the night, people will be saying, wow, you know, Shane McMahon is really good. Because one thing he said, he had an amateur wrestler trainer. That's one. And you got to listen to these keys. And he said that. I said, okay, so he's, he's playing to wrestle here. So AJ Styles goes over in that one. And we'll see. That's why not go Seth Rollins Triple H. Non sanctioned match. I am, woo, this is going to be ugly. This is going to be very ugly. Um, And, you know, to beat Triple H at WrestleMania means that you're someone special. It means that your career is going to another place. And that's what he reminded us um, when he fought Sheamus at WrestleMania 26. And while he beat Sheamus, Sheamus did go to another place, but not quite where, you know, where Daniel Bryan would have gone. But I do think Seth Rollins goes over in this one. It's going to be ugly, but I think Seth Rollins wins this. And then I think we'll see the World WWE Championship match, Bray Wyatt versus Randy Orton. Maybe we see Sister Abigail come out. I don't know who. I don't know how, but I think we see Sister Abigail. But in the end, I see Randy Orton not winning another championship. I see Bray Wyatt retaining the title. And then we will see 
John Cena and Nikki Bella taking on The Miz and Maurice. And so I'm torn because John Cena's own Miz in the promos. And the way he's owned The Miz in the promos, to me, that's as good as The Miz. I mean, that's as good as John Cena getting the last hit. And everything is saying to me, Miz wins. Miz, Miz and Maurice wins. Miz and Maurice wins. But then, why not Cena win and then drop down on one knee? I know some people are saying yes. Some people are saying no. I'm going to go with my gut on this one. And I'm never perfect on these pay-per-views. And don't know how I would feel if I was always perfect. It probably wouldn't be as fun. But um, I'm going to go with my gut. My gut is telling me Cena, Miz, I mean, uh, Cena and um, Nikki Bella with John Cena hitting the proposal. And then we will see The Undertaker versus Roman Reigns. Oh, boy. You know, it's... I've only picked against The Undertaker legitimately once. And that was the match against... That was the match against um, Edge, WrestleMania 24, right here in Orlando. And I kind of want to do it again. I, I just feel that now is the time, you know. If I, and, and Triple H is talking about turning Roman heel. I don't trust people. You know, I'm, I'm going to just say something that the real Dwayne Allen says. You know, you don't trust people who love the business that much because they'll never, you know, they're never exposed. They do their best to protect it. And I think that's what's happening. So, with that being said, I do think that Roman Reigns beats Taker, but then I think he has some heelish ways to him to do so. And then he'll be booed out of the stadium, and it's going to be lovely, folks. It's going to be so lovely. And then we will see the main event of the evening for the WWE Universal Championship Goldberg defending his title against Brock Lesnar. Wow. Um everything for me and my superior wrestling intellect is saying choose Brock Lesnar. And I'm gonna go with it. I cannot choose Goldberg in this match. Brock has got him at the some um he got him at Survivor Series. He got him at the Royal Rumble. He got him recently on Raw. Those quick spears and just absolutely making Gold Brock, Goldberg has got Brock and making him look bad. And guess what? It's not going to happen this time. I think, you know, Brock may be sidestepping. I think he'll play around with him. And then when the time is right, he'll hit the F5. And then one, two, three, Brock Lesnar will be your new WWE Universal Champion. So, ladies and gentlemen, WrestleMania 33 promises to be a classic. Um, I know people out there saying this is a weak card. You know, I'm looking at it, and when I look at it, it's not a weak card to me. And and call me a WWE fanboy. Call me somebody who's just excited because they're going. You can say all that you want. The last time I thought I saw a weak card was WrestleMania 31, and it surprised me. And I call it the greatest WrestleMania I've seen um, since 17. So, I don't know if I'm going to say that this is the greatest. I hope it is, obviously. Um, because I always root for WrestleMania. It's my favorite pay-per-view. It's, um, like I said, it's my family tradition. WrestleMania 26, the last one I watched with my late Uncle Mike. WrestleMania 17, the last one I watched with my grandmother. And WrestleMania 6, the last one I watched with my grandfather. So, as you can see, WrestleMania means a lot to me. Um, so, it's, um, it's going to be something special. Uh, and, and, and I'm happy to be there. So, make sure you are following the Wrestling Realm. Make sure you're tweeting us. Make sure you let us know how you feel. And if you haven't done so, subscribe to this podcast. Make sure you like us on iTunes. Subscribe to us on iTunes. And rate us on iTunes. Can we get five stars, please? And guess what? When you do that, make your signature. I'll tweet you with a thank you. Um, and any shout-outs, feel free to hit me up. Slide in the DMs. Until the next time, folks, it's WrestleMania season, baby. Let's get the party started. Make sure you are live. Make sure you are joining us as a fan. Just be a fan for one night.
please. That's all I ask. Just be a fan for one night. Until the next time, I'm Brian H. Waters. So long, everybody.